All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, we're going to be talking about what Linux distributions do I use? Specifically, these are the ones I use day in and day out, every single day of the week. Doesn't matter, the system, whatever. These are the ones that I use every single day. So for those wondering, this particular machine is obviously running Plasma. Uh, <clears throat> so this is actually running Salient OS. This is running the... KD variant of it. So for me, this is, is just about a lot of what comes pre-installed that I really don't have to deal with. Um, the, the fact that it's an arch base, which tremendously helps because for me, it, the, the graphics drivers and a lot of the multimedia stuff is far more important to be more always up to date and that kind of stuff. Uh, and the fact that, you know, uh, things like DXVK and a lot of the more gamer focus kind of stuff is there, but that's not why I use it. Cause for me, it has things that are just there. The, the NVIDIA drivers, the, just the fact that it's plasma, the fact that it, it doesn't have the Manjaro mentality where certain things are, you know, a lot of packages are held back a couple of weeks. Just, just there's certain things that I like about it. Um, as a default experience with various configurations and stuff that it has. So that, again, your preferences will vary, but if I'm going to run my HTPC, for example, I actually use Manjaro KDE because that way Cody is always up to date. Uh, it's just the most streamlined, stripped down install, uh, it's not necessarily <laughs> Manjaro KDE. What I actually did was Manjaro Architect. Then I installed KDE, very minimal KDE packaging, but it's still Manjaro KDE. So <laughs> uh, again, it's for HTPC, I would prefer kind of the held back approach. Um, that's just a preference. I would prefer the theming, just that kind of stuff. Oh, the other thing was salient, dark themes are default. Just, uh, I'm a dark theme guy. So one of the other distros that I tend to use a lot now, specifically on a specific machine, which is my uh, Lenovo Legion, is actually Ubuntu Unity. Now, for those that don't know, I was a big Unity user for a long time. I basically used it as my daily, besides product, like gaming type stuff from 2011 until it technically died. So for me... Ubuntu Unity is a really cool project because it's seeing what they can do. Um, they are modernizing as much of Unity 7 as they possibly can. Um, things like, you know, as you can see here, Yaru and Papyrus as the theming. So there, there's a lot of stuff that I like that they're doing with Ubuntu Unity. And it, I'm not going to lie, Unity still has a lot of good features and functions that aren't available by default in a lot of even like Plasma and you know, things like the HUD, things like, uh, you know, there's fuzzy search and stuff, but a lot of Unity's features still aren't implemented in other distros and other DEs. So for me, I think, and Unity, I'm going to say it again, still has the best fractional scaling, bar none. And the last distro that I generically use, and this is only because I have a consulified gaming PC, and that was intentional, and that is Gamer OS. This is essentially a Steam Big Picture mode with a few things thrown on top of it, Steam Buddy, uh, Steam Tweaks. There, there's a lot of different things that they add on top of it, and they go for more of an out-of-the-box experience. So when you do things like Steam Play Certified, it's actually their steam play certified list and that kind of stuff so for me that's really kind of cool uh, a lot of monthly updates graphics drivers are all there it's literally as consulified os for pc gaming as you can possibly get and then you can do cool things like add in emulators and that kind of stuff so to me this is definitely a, a cool project that i like because it makes linux gaming quote unquote um a little more accessible, a little more easy to manage, a little more UX UI friendly to, to the new where the console consulified people. And I'm okay with that. And having done the use this particular machine for six months now, particularly doing that, 
the experience is far different than when you view Linux gaming as a console drop-in replacement, as opposed to a PC gaming or a Windows gaming drop-in replacement. Big difference. And your mentality changes when you do that. Uh, So for me, those are the kind of the Linux distros I use, the Linux distros I prefer. And each one has its like features and functions and why I use it and why I prefer it over other stuff that may or may not be available. The nice thing with Linux is everything can work for somebody. These are just the ones that work for me. Some people will like them. Some people won't. And if you don't like them, it's a prerogative. And if you tell me I'm wrong, well, it, they're for me. It's not you. So no, 